Well, I had hip replacements 20 years ago. And so just most recently in January of this year, I had revision of my right hip. Pat Collins is part of a growing trend. Her hip replacement wore out and she underwent hip replacement revision surgery. Revision surgery is a procedure to repair a hip replacement. Pat came to Cardinal Hill Hospital for rehabilitation after her original hip replacement surgeries. And she came back to Cardinal Hill Hospital as an inpatient to the skilled rehab unit after her revision surgery. Well, when someone comes back for a revision, they're not as young as they were when they first had their replacement. So there are other things we need to look at, too. Is that person going to have a safe discharge home? Are they going to be able to uh, be as independent as they were with their first replacement? I would walk from my room on the walker to physical therapy. And then they developed a program just for me, tailor-made for my needs. We would do things like leg lifts, teaching me walk up and down steps here in my home. The skilled rehab unit offers the same therapy, but at a slower pace than someone would get in, a, in the acute side. We have uh, the same licensed therapy staff, we have the same nursing staff, it's just a slower pace. I'm sort of an old hand at this a little bit. She remembered a lot of the little tricks that we teach uh, from the first time. The equipment that we used the first time, a lot of it has stayed the same, so she was already familiar with that, and that was something that we didn't have to reteach her. We just maybe had to refresh her memory on things like that, and the precautions that she had to take with a joint revision or replacement. If you've got someone 85 years old, three hours of therapy a day is a lot. To, uh, to do, but they can come to a unit like mine and make a successful transition to their next living space, but be it back home, home with family, home alone, whatever. When I went to Cardinal Hill this time, there was a lady there, very nice, but she left the next day. And so I was by myself for a couple of days, and then I got a new roommate. She had had a, a knee replacement, and she had some different issues that she was having to work with because of that from what I had. But we were very compatible and, um, and shared, you know, the experience we were going through. A little different, but a lot alike in the same, in many ways. And uh, that was a, a very positive thing for me. Cardinal Hill's skilled rehab unit was originally located at Good Samaritan Hospital. It specializes in the rehabilitation of orthopedic and mild neurological conditions. When the new addition to Cardinal Hill Hospital was completed, the skilled rehab unit was brought home to the main hospital complex in 2010. We went from a uh, restricted number of beds because we were only lab, we've grown. And so we were able to take more of the population that needs our type of rehab and we're able to have them right here on the home campus. And that is quite a benefit for everyone involved, Cardinal Hill and the patients. What I got at Cardinal Hill really helped me to be much more independent and more confident walking with a walker and occupational therapy for planning to do tasks I would need to do at home walking with a walker.